Hi, this is Joe Wells from Old Town Key West, Florida, a.k.a. Island Joe. The last book I published was called The Last Ruble, Part 1. Part 2 should be out by the end of the year. I'm working on it now. In the meantime, this short story that I'm talking about here came into my head, and it's called Her Last Seven Days in Key West. It's based upon a true story. In brief, everyone dies in life. Sometimes it matters how you die. Some die in fear. Others face the inevitable and accept their sealed fate. The story is about a lady named Ruth. Ruth knew her time had come for her to leave this world. But she was going to decide on what her legacy would be. And she was going to die with pride and honor, which is what she did. I'm going to read you a little bit from uh, Chapter 1, titled Day 1. Doug, can you get me a glass of wine? Can I or will I are two different things. Ruth smiled, playing hardball. Doug smiled back. You shouldn't drink. That's a matter of opinion, Ruth reminded him. You've been there for most everything which I have not, and for this I am very sorry. Ruth had a tone in her voice which was very soothing and forgiving. Now don't start feeling guilty and sorry for yourself again. We've been over this at least a hundred times. Doug smiled in a thankful manner. I know, but it still hurts. Ruth smiled again. It's late in our life for us to have regrets, and time is short. For me, that's easier said than done. Continuing to speak in her soothing voice, Ruth kept a smile on her face. Now you're feeling sorry for yourself again. Lowering his head slightly, trying not to show the tears he was fighting back. Perhaps you're right, but it still hurts. Ruth knew her husband well. Look up. Don't you see how far we've come together? Doug lifted his head, giving his tearing eyes a quick wipe. Ruth was right. They'd come a long way together in life. They were sitting on their back porch in Key West looking at the ocean. There was a nice breeze most early evenings. The fresh smell of the ocean and its cooling breeze relaxed them both. They opened up to one another, sharing their deepest thoughts and about life. They had grown up together, so words and trust came easy. That's just the uh, first part of Chapter 1, which I've read to you. Uh, this book is available currently at Barnes & Nobles for Nook and Amazon for Kindle. There's a link at the bottom of this uh, page for you to get more information. I hope you enjoy it, and uh, I look forward to writing more for you in the future.